Hello, I'm Liviu Bolan, and today I will speak about UMask. So, what is UMask? UMask is used as file mode creation mask. Uh, to understand better this, first I will connect to my virtual machine using SSH Ubuntu VM. Now, I will type UMask and hit enter. As you will see here, the value for UMask of the current user is 0002. To see a better representation of the UMask, you can use UMask minus S and this will display the current value symbolically. So, this means that when the user will create a file, the file writes will be read, write and execute for user, read, write and execute for group and read, execute for others. You will see in a moment um, how the octal representation, which is this one, is used by a Linux application. Okay, now if I will create, I will now I will create a new user on this operating system. Okay, um, let's switch to this user, and now let's type the umask again. You will see here that the umask for this user is 0022, which is different than the previous user, leave you. So the user that I've created has a different mask than the default user, which uh, were created by the operating system when I've installed Ubuntu. So, uh, where this value comes from. The value for UMask came uh, from uh, this file. If I open with sudo atc login.defs sorry this user is not sudo. And here if I will search for umask, here you will see the default value which is 022. What you'll have to remember is that, is that if you don't specify a value, uh, Linux is using zero, zero field. So 022 two means 0022. Two two. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's see the difference between the masks. If I go to uh, the home directory for the user leave you, and if I type touch and then file.txt and then make dir dir and then ls minus l tilde you will see the writes for the file which were created read write and execute for all read write and execute for uh, and this writes for directory and this writes for file. If I type umask with minus s, you will see that uh, the writes is this one for user and then for group which are this one and for other read and execute. This applies perfectly to when you create directories, 
But when you are making files, you will see that there are some Linux distros which uh, are not allow you to use the execute um, to, to use the execute um, um, access um, when you create when you are creating files. So because this is a file and Ubuntu is an example of operating system uh, which I told you about the right the rights for uh, user are uh, read write and execute for group are read write and execute but see that the execute attribute is not set and for others read and execute but because we are on lean we are on um, ubuntu we have only read option okay so this is for the umask of user review which is the user uh, that were pre previously created when the operating system were installed if i go to if i switch to review.balan user and if i go to home and make the same steps again touch file dot txt and make dir dir and then ls minus uh, minus l tilde you will see that there are different uh, writes on directory and file this is because if i use umask with minus s uh, i have different writes here i'm having read write and execute here i have read and execute and then for others read and execute okay so these are the rights computed uh, computed on this mask based on the on the algorithm that i show that i speak about here um okay so uh, how can you change the the user mask uh, now, if I use umask, you will see here that the user mask of this user is 0022. If I use umask and then specify the mask, the value for this mask, 0002, and then use umask again, you will see that the, the file Mm, you will see that the mask is now 002. If I go to the tilde and then ls, I, and if I use ls, ls minus minus l tilde, now what I want to do is to remove the dir and uh, the file which I previously created. Now if I use touch file.txt and make dir dir and then use ls minus l tilde you will see that now the directory is having a different uh, access rights than the previous one and the file is having a different access rights than the previous one. He's, here I'm having uh, right access uh, on the group. The problem with this approach is that if I use exit and then switch to the user again, now if I use umask again, you will see that the value is 0022. So the changing the umask using the, the umask command applies only to the current session to the current user session if you want to change the umask for a user you will have to edit a file in your uh, operating system so that file is uh, located in atc login.dev because is uh, having special rights you will have to use sudo and then vi 
So uh, search for umask and the, then here in the umask session uh, section I will have to specify the value for the umask. Let's specify a new value <coughs> and here um, I will type 0, 0, 2, 2. And as you can see here, prefix the values with 0 to get octal. So 0, 0, 2, 2. Not 0, 0, 2, 2, but 0, 0, 2. Write and quit. And now what I will do is uh, to remove my user. Be very careful because my leave you that balan user it is a fresh new user. I will force the deletion and also I will delete all the file for the current for this user. If you have some files associated with this user, you will not want to delete the files associated with this user because will delete the home directory for this user. But in my case, I will uh, force uh, delete the, the user and also uh, all the file for this user. Now, I will create the user again. And if I switch to this user, and use umask, you will see that the mask for this user is 002. Now, if I follow the same steps again, I mean creating a file and the directory, and then using ls minus l, you will see that here I'm having write access on the group. Um, this is a very interesting thing because if you are creating this user for a um, web server, which is my case in this situation, it is a very good idea to use disk umask because if you are using Apache like me, Maybe you will have some situation when Apache will want to write a file inside your uh, site, inside your website or your virtual host or some ever. In this situation, using this uh, umask will give Apache the possibility to write files inside your project. If you want to learn more about UMask, you can visit this. Uh, you can visit these um, links, and uh, I want to to show you something, something more, really interesting. Um, what values of UMask uh, represents? What the what this number represents. So the first value means that the, this number is uh, on octal representation. Values, you will see here uh, three values. The first one is for user, the second one um, is for group, and the, the third one is for uh, others. It's like when you are using the change uh, mode for a file. Every uh, value from here uh, represent different things. For example, 0 represents any permission and 7 means that all permission are prohibited uh, from being set. So you have values from 0 to 7 
which you, you apply uh, to different parts um, of um, access, user, group, and others. As I told you earlier, many operating systems do not allow a file to be created with execute permissions. In these environments, newly created files will always have execute permission disabled for all users. Remember that one kind of this operating system is Ubuntu. When you create files, you don't have um, execute rights uh, for um, user group and others. You will have to explicitly change uh, the right access for a file to be executable. Another interesting thing is that programmatically the mask is applied by the operating system by first negating or complementing the mask and then performing a logical end with the re request file mode. What this wants to say is that Okay, let's take a look here on this situation. You have 077 uh, user mask and what, this is, uh, what does it mean? <coughs> Zero in this situation is the value for user. In this situation, as you can see here in this table, zero means any permission that may be set. Uh, this is the octal representation uh, for no permission. So you have no permission, but when you are complementing this permission, this transforms to all to any permission. Let's take a look here for two value. So two two in the octal uh, in in the binary representation means zero one zero. So this means uh, read, write, and execute. But when you are complementing this, but when you are complementing this, this means one zero one, which is the value for uh, read, uh, write, and execute. Because execute is not um, because it's, uh, execute is not allowed. As you can see here, this, the two value, set uh, is setting uh, of right permission that uh, is setting that right permission is prohibited. So now, you know how the values from the U mask, from the octal representation of U mask, are computed. Don't forget that if you want to learn more about U mask, you can visit these useful links and also if you want to learn more about Ubuntu and about the web technologies you can visit my website liviubalan.com and also check out my tutorials on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.